Hi, welcome to the Frugal Fishman where we talk about real fishing when you have a real family on a real budget. After much thought, I bought a Hummingbird Piranha Max 160 Portable. The reason I bought this is in the summer the fish like to lay low in holes and I thought this would be one advantage I could have to find them. Also, it's very neat to watch and play with. Here it is assembled. What I liked immediately is when I opened the box, the packaging was great and the instructions were very good to, to follow, as long as you follow them. There's some tricks with the cords and such. The other thing I didn't like, or a warning, is the four screws that hold the handle on, they're brass with brass fittings, and you have to be very easy on that. I think you can strip those out very quickly. What I liked about the bag and the product right away is if you notice they have these side pockets, which I found handy because they can hold a little tackle box, or not that any of us would have these out on the water, one of these, very good. If you notice when you go to the back, this pocket here is for your sonar or transducer. You can hold all the cable, feeds out nicely to a water resistant opening or aperture if you like, that goes to the hummingbird. The next thing I like is once, once I had it placed together is the battery the awkward to put in, I don't think I'll ever have to take it out because you can reach all the fittings for recharging and hooking up your fish finder. Everything works smoothly, there's also another pocket here. So that's the hummingbird completed. Now once you get it on the water, it's got this great flap here, and all you have to do is roll it up, and there's a big clip there, you clip it here, now it keeps it in the shade and you can see the hummingbird in action. So what we're going to do is go in simulator mode. I haven't had this on the water yet, but I can show you some features. Um, here we go. There's startup. Right away go to simulator and that will give us a simulation of what you're going to see on the water. What you're going to see right away is there's your depth and there's your water surface water temperature. That's the temperature at your transducer. Right now it's on auto, so there's the bottom of the lake or where you're fishing. And when you see a black silhouette, that is the fish right under your boat. The white are from the wider range, and that's fish that are off to the side. You'll see these numbers above the fish. It even gives the depth. I've got this set on for all size, small, medium, and large. And uh, I hope it works as good on the simulation as it does on the water. Another thing I like is the ease of changing settings. All you have to do is hit this button once and you go into, you can change your light, you go in the next one, sensitivity, depth range. And now this one feature I like is zoom. Let's say you're, I'll go back to zoom. Let's say you're in a deeper lake, put it on auto. You wanna see what's down there. You'll notice the zoom range will come up. And from what I understand so far, it shows the first eight feet from the bottom of the lake but you'll get a better picture of the bush down there where the feed fish are hiding perch and trout as you can see it just scrolls across so at the moment i am very impressed with this unit it's very user friendly because i hate cumbersome computer nonsense and wait for episode two and we we'll take it over for sea trials or lake trials and see how it works out so this is the Frugal Fisherman, where you get honest reports and honest fishing on an honest budget. Thank you very much.